Good morning, YouTube. Specifically YouTube, I think Patreons know me a bit better. Recently, you've just tuned in and seen my ideas of David Grush and UAPs, and you've asked me a lot of questions, which over the years I've been running this channel for eight years, I've answered, but you don't know who I am. So I'm going to do an open book question and answer for new viewers who want to ask me Am I a debunker? Whatever a debunker is, or do I believe in UFOs? Or why am I Adam Savage? Or am I Adam Savage's dad? Which is an odd question, as Adam and I are roughly the same age, and obviously I've had a more interesting life. <laughs> so, down in the description, ask any question that you want to ask. Obviously, if you know me, you will understand where I'm from, that I'm a media person with a background working in broadcast television, specifically in science documentaries, and I'm just retired here to a goat farm in southwest France making YouTube videos and actually doing rather badly but doing okay thanks only to Patreon support. And I'm, I'm really enjoying making the films, but I'm also very frustrated with YouTube as a company. So ask interesting questions about me, about my views on UAP and David Grush. Whatever you want to ask. If it's extremely rude, I might give you a rude answer. <laughs> If it's polite and erudite and sensible, I'll give you a longer answer. So, fire away down below. i just like to say something that give you a bit of an introduction, and it's about Rendlesham Forest. A lot of people take sides and are in camps about Rendlesham Forest, and they say, Jim Penniston saw a craft, a triangular craft, on the forest floor, which he went up and touched and downloaded binary code that gave him clues to the nature of the universe, whereas John Burroughs only saw or experienced a visual phenomenon effect. And then Colonel Deputy Commander Holt recorded something on his tape, which is again very different. Yes! That is interesting. It doesn't put us into camps. It reveals the truer nature of what the highly strange thing that they experienced. If you listen to the very smart Paul Devereaux, who talks about Earthlight in a film which I made, link in the description, he gives examples of Earthlight phenomenon that can only be seen from one side. He says, people at one side of the road saw blue light. People at the other side didn't see anything. It's as if the effect is polarized or has some quantum uh, effects. I, I don't really like the use of the word quantum, but there is a strange perception. And in the Rendlesham Forest case, people seeing or perceiving human perception of different things is revealing about the true nature of the phenomenon. So let's not dismiss somebody who asks difficult questions. Um, I would never say to a Jehovah's Witness who comes and knocks on my door, why do you believe in a uh, an invisible deity spaghetti monster? It would be extremely rude. They probably have a real belief system. They probably have some personal experience, just as many people have had encounters with the highly strange, have seen something, and it's really helped them believe that there's stuff out there. And there is stuff out there, and that's my position. But I want to understand what it is, and I also want to understand how we as terra firma humans perceive what we see out in the universe. There's lots of strange things. There's lots of strange physics. There's lots of dimensions. Maybe things are reaching us in a way that we have difficulty in perceiving in the same way to different people. So that's some ideas for questions and answers. Fire away. I'm really up for answering interesting, difficult, rude, or polite questions about my approach to the highly strange. Because with you and I, we can find answers. 
the truth is out there.